Hello, this is Brenda Gunderson bringing you your next Stats 250 Friday Focus for the week of April 10th to the 17th. First, I wanted to share with you how much joy you have brought us. I started to look at the pictures and the written statements that you shared about what brings you joy in that first question on homework nine. And as I started to look, I couldn't stop. I just kept going through each section. I, I had tears running down my cheeks. I have not had a good cry over this past month as we turn to learning together online. So you helped me have that needed release. You shared about your pets, your dogs, your cats, your bunnies. You shared the activities that were helping you, enjoying a good cup of coffee, going outside for walks or runs, games that you were playing, the cooking and baking that you were trying out, shows that you were watching, books you were reading, pictures that you were doodling, and how you were still connecting to others, both those that were physically with you now in your household that you're in, and also to those who you couldn't connect to physically but still were virtually. So thank you for sharing your joy. All right, let's take a look. It's already April 10th, right? April 10th. And we have two more weeks remaining in our online time together. So let's start with a couple reminders of what might be good to remember. Exam two, exam two follow-up. We want to remind you to look over that exam too if you haven't yet. And that if you have a review request about how a question was graded, that there's that form to turn in that request and we need to hear from you by Monday night, 10 p.m. That form link was off of that Canvas announcement called Exam 2 Follow-Up. And then on eCoach, you have your last opportunity for some extra credit towards homework. You can complete that eCoach Exam 2 Reflection through the playbook. It's open now and needs to be completed before Tuesday, the 22nd, our last day of classes, by 11.59 p.m. And right, you're done. We have the revisions and we're grading them. That should be wrapping up this weekend. And on Monday, you'll get an email with a link. And it'll have a link to a post survey, similar to the pre-survey we had earlier. And doing this post survey can earn you two extra credit points towards your M rate total. You may have noticed that the gradebook had a couple of updates. We moved the extra credit assignments into the appropriate category. We had all of those assignments set to be zero points possible, so every point was extra credit. And we also changed the exams so that they are now being reported as percentages rather than points since the two exams for the semester were not out of the same number of points. And you have your final pre-lab. It opened on Monday. It's not due next Monday, but we're extending it to Friday, April 17th. This created pre, uh, reflection pre-lab is worth two points for a basic summary, but if you take it to be a little more personal, put your personal flair in it and how you summarize a statistical concept or idea, you can earn up to two more extra credit points towards your pre-lab totals. It's one of our very favorite ones to grade. We look forward to that. And it is an opportunity for you to just summarize a statistical idea or concept no R, no R commander, just a nice, reflective, creative pre-lab. So we have our final statistical topic coming up, chi-squared tests. For this week, there are only two pre-recorded lectures. These are going to cover these chi-squared tests that allow us to work with categorical data but more than what we had in chapters five and six. 
In chapters five and six, we could only have categorical responses that had a yes or no outcome, looking at just that proportion. But now we're going to be able to handle studies in which your response is categorical with more possible categorical responses. The chi-square tests are my very favorite to both teach and to do. These two pre-recorded lectures are about an hour each, and we encourage you to watch and follow along as you complete your lecture notes and to do that first. We'll have a lab 13 of both the pre-recorded version and the live streamed options for you. So that would be the next task we'd ask you to do is to work through that lab material and there'll be a final lab 13 wrap up quiz. Once you've gone through the lectures in the labs, that homework 10 can be looked at and that homework 10 on chi-square test is your very last homework. We of course encourage you to come to any of the office hours that we will be running as well as those lab check-ins that allow us to connect with you during the week. So a quick roundup, you have your very last, your last homework 10, your very last lab 13 wrap-up quiz, and that final pre-lab. These are the final three components that are due on Friday, April 17th by 8 a.m. I thought I'd do a little picture of the day and I'm going to share with you my pictures of joy. So you have my husband who is giving our dog a bath after he attempted to give a little haircut to the dog. She needed it for her springtime haircut. He not only takes her on lots of walks but also rides. Puts her in the backpack. She's got her goggles on to go for a little ride on a nice day. My daughter, we try to get her to go outside and relieve a little bit of stress as she's taking her online classes too and finishing up her senior year. We have a little trapeze in the back that she's been doing since she was very little and continues to do today. We did a little messy um, egg decorating together. That's some cool whip and food coloring. And then those signs of spring, just right down off our driveway, some flowers coming up that are very beautiful to look at. So some of my pictures of joy. All right, so what's coming up ahead? After our last week of content that Kai squared, what is going to happen next? Well, you let them classes go through Tuesday, April 21st. And then there is, of course, the study day. And Thursday is the start of final exams. So for Stats 250, the week of April 17th through the 23rd, there will be new, no new content. There will be just reviewing and preparing for our final exam. Our online final exam is going to be via coursework on Thursday, April 23rd. This is the scheduled final exam date. It'll be in the evening. Now it was scheduled to be 7.30 to 9.30 p.m., but we're gonna add an extra hour for buffer, so three hours. And we're also gonna set it up to have staggered starts between 6.30 and 7.30 p.m. for the starts. In other words, a group is gonna start at 6.30 p.m. and then the next group would start at 6.40 p.m. and we'll stagger that through. Every group will have a three hour window to work on that exam from the start their assigned start time. And these gr groups are going to be set up and we'll share more details in a Sunday Canvas announcement with you. If you also have special accommodations or an issue with the start time that you're assigned, we'll have a Google form for you to be able to communicate that information to us. As far as the content goes, there's definitely going to be an emphasis, a focus on the regression and chi-square test that we are most recently covering, new material since exam two. That'll likely be accounting for over 50% of the exam. We'll have a couple questions from that exam to inference topics, those big five parameters that we've learned how to do confidence intervals and testing for. 
We always have a name that's an aerial of some sort on the final exam that can include all of the different techniques, chi-square test regression and the previous ones. And then any of the exam one ideas, they are typically just woven in, connected to the newer topics. I mean, for example, we've been looking at histograms since chapter one, and we've been using them to do some checks of normality assumptions. As you go through the chi-square test coming up, you'll see a little bit of probability kind of coming back in because it's tied to the chi-square discussion we will have. So I call this cumulative-ish. It's going to be, again, open book and open notes with no collaboration. And I would have a calculator on hand, but it's still going to be formula light with no picture uploads. And as we did for the exam two, we are going to provide you a complete practice final exam on coursework. So you can see again the nature and the style of this online final. In fact, we're even going to practice the staggered start times for the practice final exam. So more details of that coming in the Sunday announcement. Finally, we are going to be offering an additional method for working out your final course grades. From the syllabus, from day one, we've had method one, two, and three, which are different weightings of the exams, depending on what was doing, gonna work better for you. We have added in an additional method called the COVID method that will be weighting your final exam far less. Your final exam could weight anywhere from 10% up to 45% of your final course grade. We will be working out all methods for all students, and we will be using the one method for you that gives you the highest percentage at the end. So going into your final exam, it might only have a 10% weight, or it could have more, whatever is going to help with your grade. So thank you for your hard work, for sharing your joy, and for watching this Stats 250 Friday Focus.